Okay, going over the wires, let's first start with the important part, which is going to be the graphics card's wires. Here is the standard wire for a graphics card. And now that I've looked at it closely, I hate to say it, but I'm not impressed with it, and I'm going to tell you a couple reasons why. First of all, there are four of these, which what you get is this hooks into the power supply, and then this end hooks to the graphics card. You have a 6 plus 2, and then on the same wire, if you can see that, you have a 6 pin. And why would I not like that? If you remember the Mushkin power supply, it had a single 6 plus 2 on each strand. And uh, that means you would send it to where you needed it to go, and that was it. Well, this, I don't know if Silverstone was thinking, hey, you know, most, most graphics cards have a, an 8 pin and a 6 pin, which you have that configuration here. But what you get is you get this big loop right here that that is kind of ugly, really. So you, you hook this into the power or into the graphics card, and you get this loop right here. And, and I don't like that. I mean, you can get it to make it look right, but that's not my preference. And the other thing I don't like is if you look at it here, you have a six plus two and a six. So if you buy a graphics card like the Asus Matrix which has two 8 pins, I think, or the Ares uh, 5970, which is actually two 5870 chips, you, you would have to get, use an adapter because all you would have is an 8 pin and a 6 pin, and it requires two 8 pins. So you'd have to use one of these that come in the package, which is like turns two 6 pins into an 8 pin, which, or actually turns two, two 6 pins into a 6 plus 2 pin. That's, that's ridiculous. Well, anyways, you get four of these. So, I mean, you, you can power four cards if they have a six pin and a six and an eight pin. Okay. Here is the 24 pin cable. Like I said, it's a 100% uh, modular. And there is some space here. I would like to have seen the, uh, the uh, sleeping get closer to the connector. You have your standard EPS 12 volt power, which here is your uh, connector into the power supply, and this is a 4 plus 4 for the uh, motherboard. And then you have power supply hookup into the uh, motherboard, and that's an 8 pin. So you got all the connections for a high end enthusiast motherboard. Here's a serial ATA cable, and this part plugs into the power supply, and you get three connectors one, two, three and you get four of these so you can you can uh, power up to twelve serial ATA devices now we get to the Molex connectors and something I don't like about these you get four of these right which sounds good this connects into the power supply then you have a uh, Molex connector another Molex connector and then another Molex connector and then you got a floppy who the heck uses floppy? And what's so funny is you get four of these and every one of them has a floppy connector. So for those of you that don't use floppy, which I don't know of anyone who does anymore, you're going to have this extra wire just hanging somewhere, so you're going to tie it together or something. I don't like that either, to be honest with you. Okay, so those are the wires on it. Uh, I don't want to make it sound like this is a, a bad review because... You know, the reason why you buy this power supply is because you need it to put, you need the maximum power available. And this really is the most powerful power supply on the market. So the positives are, is that it's the most powerful power supply. It can push three GTX 480s in SLI with no problem. The other positives is that it is 100% modular, which I like that. Uh, something else that's positive is it's, it's a really nice black and the the workmanship on it and the quality looks uh, unparalleled. Now the negative points are this proprietary connector here which I don't think is really needed and no on off button for the power supply so if you want to turn your computer off on power you're going to have to pull the wire. The other thing I don't like is the PCI Express the way they do the end connectors here where you have to have the uh, a little loop. I don't like that. 
the sleeving doesn't go quite as far as I want, but that's minor. I mean, I think that my mushkin on one of them, it didn't go down as far as I want. But the sleeving is good quality. You can see here the sleeving is good quality. It just, I'd like it to go a little bit further. The Ciro ATA connectors are very good. I don't see a problem with those. And then you get to the Molex where I have four floppy, since you get four of these from your Molex connectors, I have four floppy drives. I can power four floppy drives, which just doesn't make any sense. So, uh, again, people who buy this power supply, it's for the power that it can give, not necessarily uh, all the aesthetics. So, uh, this is my review of the Silverstone Strider 1500 watt power supply. Thank you, and please subscribe.